Hey there, clarinet nerds. Welcome to five minute clarinet class. Uh, you know, really important stuff and difficult stuff should be left up to the professionals, but there's a whole lot you can do to take care of your clarinet and make that good repair job last longer and longer. We're going to talk about some of those in a series of videos. Um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is actually how to lubricate your clarinet. That'll make the mechanism stay quieter and last longer. But before we do that, we have to do one other thing, and that is learn how to screw in a screw. Now, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but, you know, a lot of people mess it up on the clarinet because the threads of the clarinet are very, very, uh, the threads of the screws are very, very close together. Since they're close together, they're very easy to strip. So if you don't screw the screw in properly, you can strip those threads. Boy, and you're a world of hurt. You're embarrassed, and you got to go to your kind of repair tech with your tail between your legs and say, gee, look what I did. So anyway, before we learn how to really lubricate the clarinet, at least the tom way, which I think is the right way, uh, the first thing we're going to do is learn how to screw in a screw. And here's how you do it. Basically, when you screw in a screw, you start where you left off by screwing the screw out in the first place. Don't know what I mean? Okay. Well, I will show you. And uh, all you have to do is listen for the clicks, it, whether you're screwing it out or screwing it in. And then you're not going to strip your threads. Okay, I guess you guys recognize this. This is a clarinet. And right here is a screw that I'm just about to screw out. Now, I want you to listen real closely because I'm going to move, remove this screw. Let's see, let me get my, my screwdriver in there now. I want you to listen very closely, okay? I'm screwing it out, screwing it out, and... Hear that screw? Click. Okay, that means that the screw is completely out. That means it's completely out. So now it's ready. I can take a, a pair, pair of common uh, pliers and, and pull, that, uh, pull that screw right out. There it is, see? Okay, no problem. Now I'm going to screw this screw back in. And uh, which, what I want to do is I want to begin by screwing it in where I left off screwing it out. And that is listening for the click. Now, a lot of people, when they start screwing in a screw like this, the first thing they'll do is they'll start by just going forward and screwing it in. But you know, with close threads like you have on the clarinet, you can really strip, strip the threads if the, the threads are not properly lined up with the, with the threads in the post. There's threads in the screw, threads in the post have to line up. And the way you make sure that that's done is by backing the screw off until till you hear that, hear that click? There you go. And as soon as I hear that click, I know the threads are lined up and I can go forward and screw that screw in and don't have to worry about stripping the threads. Boy, I tell you what, it's a very simple thing to do, but if you mess those threads up, you're really in a world of hurt. If you don't want to do that, this is the way to avoid it. Okay, I'm not sure how that could be simpler. Now you know how to screw out a screw and how to screw in a screw without ruining your day and your repair tech's day, too. And uh, so now we're ready to learn how to actually lubricate the clarinet the tom way, that is, a.k.a. the right way, and uh, we're going to be doing that in our next video. That's going to make your key work work better. It's going to make it more quiet, and it's going to make uh, that good repair tech job that you got done last a lot, a lot longer. And then we'll be going on to other things with the clarinet after that. Listen, be sure to subscribe to our website, to our YouTube uh, program here, so uh, you can get the information that we're sending to all of our customers and all the people who are interested in learning more about the clarinet. Also, send us in your questions. Uh, log in to the Ridden Our Clarinet Products website. Send us in your questions because on YouTube I'll be addressing as many of the questions as I can. You know, I don't know everything about the clarinet, but what I don't know, I usually know someone who does know, so uh, I can help put you on the right track. Any questions that you have, whether it's about clarinet repair, clarinet equipment, mouthpieces, reeds, barrels, um, or clarinet pedagogy. Um, I sort of wrote the book on it. So anyway, I look forward to communicating with you. I look forward to getting your questions and we'll share a bunch of knowledge that will help you play the clarinet better, have more fun doing it, and a lot less trouble. And until then, I'll see you, see you later.